Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to another episode of Talking Drum on Viva Niger Radio. It is me, it is I, Leclerc, it is me, your host Rachel Onomusi, the host with the mostest, and um, it's hump day, so that can only mean one thing, we are going to uh, talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of human life. I'm sorry, the phones are already ringing off the hook like people know what the topic is, like people even know what's going on, people already uh, calling me, everything. I'm like, why are you calling me? Wait, let me even tell you what the topic is. Anyway, so like I said, it's Rachel, it's Friday, it's hump day. This show nearly didn't happen. If you live in the UK, you must know that it's been raining all day. It's been, the weather has been somehow, it's been making my whole body do me terrere, terrere. I've been doing me Paulina, Paulina. I'm like, oh, sure, 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 go home. But I have to give props to my girls, to the bad gang, because they were like, whatever's going to happen. The show must go on. This is what we do, and this is how we do it on Viva Niger Radio. So, without further ado, let me tell you what we're going to be talking about today. Today is the first of a series called uh, The Marriage Chronicles, and we're going to be talking, we're going to be tackling different aspects of marriage, right? We'll talk about finance, we'll talk about infidelity, we'll talk about. Um, uh, finance, we'll talk about infidelity, we'll talk about childbirth, we'll talk about raising the kids, we'll talk about all these sorts of things, we'll talk about um, everything that affects marriage, we'll talk about divorce, we'll talk about what happens uh, when one partner dies, we'll talk about moving on, we'll talk about what happens when you have kids that are teenagers, um, we'll talk about all this, so that's that's where we're going to be, um, sorry one minute. We'll talk about um, everything to do with marriage. But today, we're going to be tackling infidelity. We're going to be tackling why is it that married men like single girls? Why is it that they can't stay in their lane? Why is it that they can't mind their business? Why is it that they cannot follow their their um, their marriage and face their fronts and do what they need to do? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? So... Let me bring in the rest of the bad gang. Let me see who I've got on the line today. Let me start from, in no particular order, the queen bee of the bad gang. Hi, Bimbo. Hi, Rachel. Hello, everyone out there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's your week been so far? It, it's been moving quite slow, to be honest. I feel like today should be a Thursday already. The Friday could be. Do you know what Monday, it is? But... I think it's the bank holiday Monday. I think because things are moving, you're like, oh, it's got off to a dull start. It's like three day holidays. You're like, why can't it just continue? Why can't stuff just happen? So yeah, I I think that's what it is for me as well. It's been really, oh, you know. It's just me. Uh-huh. Is it Wednesday? How is it not the end of the week yet? So, uh, who else have we got on the line? Oh, we've got Inkirukama. Inkiruka, how now? Hi. How are you guys? Hey, Bims. How are you, darling? Thank you. Hello, I my lovely. I feel like I've been to you in a long time. In fact, we need to meet up, because I just don't understand. Anyway, Rachel, I'm telling you. Yes, yes, it's always it's my always... fault. I don't know whether motto, because... whether I, I, I be Uber. Ask to take consign me. Look me look me or ask yourself before I come. <laughs> Nonsense. See me. Speaking of Rachel's, Rachel Yankee, how boring. I'm fine. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. 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 You sound tired. With a, not T-I-R-E-D. Tired. T-A-Y-A-D. Kilo-D. Tired. Everybody has tired. 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 <laughs> tired. I mean, why is this week not over yet? Can I have a double weekend? Like some yep. Yep. You too. We're all, all, f- we're all in we're it. We're only self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. Because I saw you on Facebook. Where you go? I see you. It's tired. Tired. 
I saw you. <laughs> Self-inflicted pain. That's what you're going through right now. Not the weak. Don't blame the weak. Rachel in London. Self-inflicted. I saw her. Oh, no. I saw her too. I see her. You know I was crying. I saw her completely. Yeah, 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 yeah. She literally yeah, had yeah, something yeah. on her shoulder. She was going, you know, she was just... She was she... up and down. I up saw. And down. I saw it. I saw. Up and down. Come here. Come and tell us you want to Try yourself. Exactly. They said try yourself. Try. I have to play the fifth. I play the fifth. I play the fifth. Okay. I play the fifth already. We're all in the house. We're all in the house. We're yeah. all in the house. We're waiting for a couple guys to join us because it ain't no fun if our own business oh can't have none. So while we're waiting for the guys to join us, let me give the listeners at home the phone number so that they can join us if they want to. You know what to do. If you want to just leave a comment, you need to go to the Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Viva Nature groups forward slash Viva Nature one. Um, Hold on, we've been joined by someone else. Ah, we do have a guy in the house. One minute, please, and I'll introduce you in just a minute. But let me give y'all the numbers to dial if you want to join us in the studio. Once again, if you're calling from the UK, that telephone number is 0330-998-1261. If you're dialing from the US, the number is 712-770-4032. Dialing from Nigeria, that number is 01440-5024. In all three instances, no matter where you're calling from, you're going to need the access code. That access code is 264812. Then you hit that hash key or the pound key or whatever you want to call it, and then you are straight through to the studio. We would love to hear your two cents worth. So, like I said, this is going to be a whole series called the Man- the Marriage Chronicles. But for today, we are just tackling. Who is this? Rachel, is there a siren going? Sorry, on? that's me. Yes, thanks. Okay. Yeah, it's a siren. If you don't mind muting me. Okay. So, um, we're going to be talking about infidelity. We're going to be talking about um. What happens when somebody cheats? What does make people to cheat? What makes a guy to cheat? Why is it that these guys can't leave these single ladies alone when they know there's nothing they can offer them? And by nothing, I mean a ring, by the way. We all know about the whole Aristo situation. We all know about the whole money and all of that. But if you already have a wife at home, you cannot make this, you know, you can't make a decent woman out of this woman, basically. So what is the point? So we're going to be talking about that one. We're also going to be talking about what the wife's role is. Once she hears that her husband has, is having an affair or even worse still, if she actually knows the person. So, you know, your husband is having an affair. You actually know the girl. Maybe you've seen her around the social circuit or you've seen her around the way or something. Not know her, know her like you're all are friends, because, I mean, that's a whole different level of savagery right there. But certainly know her like, um, you know, oh, that's her, or she lives in that house, or somebody has gone to Wadi, and I know for a fact that that is her, and whatever the case may be. What then happens? Why is it that the, the, the women take offense with the with the mistress as opposed to the person who actually made vows with them so let me see if i can bring rachel uh back into the room yep it looks like all's clear on her front so let me start first of all with the first topic which i really want to talk about i want to talk about married men and single ladies before i do that let me welcome our one male uh um member Taiwani Rington, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. good. Hey, Taiwan. Happy hump day. Hey, Taiwan. Hey, Alpha. We do. How now? I do. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us. At least we've got a guy in the house. So, let me start with Bimbo. Bimbo, what do you think is the attraction for single men, sorry, for married men on single ladies. 
I'm still going to talk about the other way around. What do you think, for now, what do you think is the attraction for married men on single ladies? You mean other than the fact that the single ladies are not talking about school fees, house rent, new new washing new washing machine, <laughs> how we're going to see how and and what and what little Timothy did today, right? Oh, little Timothy mm-hmm. took it's his first thing. step today. Come the activities poop. How we've gone from uh, orchid yellow to mm. uh, rancy green, all of that stuff. You know, you mean aside from that, the sex <laughs> definitely. But is a whole difference. Is a whole. I mean, what is so fantastic about a single, as of a single lady's? I don't know. My hole is special. I don't know about other people's holes. I don't know about what men think of other women's holes and the different holes. Um, I, 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 I don't know. But you know, it's like that kind of kid in a candy store. If you can get several sweets, several holes, why wouldn't they? Fair enough. Fair enough. So you think if they can get away with it and if it's different, i.e. it doesn't have the the stain of monotony, of school fees, of taking the trash out and all this, 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 then all the more reason why they would go for it, right? So you think that's all that's in, you know, first of all, it is okra soup in a world of daily egusi. And secondly, it is that bomb Kit Kat. That's where you are at, right? Hello? Yeah, hello, sorry. Yeah, I'm saying that's your response to this. So let me talk to Rachel. Rachel. Yep. What do you think? Bimbo will not kill me. (laughs) Well, (laughs) I think to some extent she is right. I don't know about the vagina part, really, because there are many married women that have C-sections, so nothing happens to their vagina. Mm. However, mm. the married woman may be very exhausted after running after that vagina. That All she that. really may want to do is lift that leg up and for you to do what you have one to leg do. Up. Go one back leg up, one leg up, jump around, one jump leg. around. <laughs> <laughs> And she, and she goes right back to sleep, whereas a guy is looking for someone who will do acrobatics. Let me tell you, if you have run out of something all day, you do not want to be hanging from a chandelier. So maybe that's what it is. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so it's Madame's fatigue. It could simply be uh, a bunch of irresponsible men who just can't control themselves. Okay. Okay. Is it that they can't control themselves or they've never needed to? Need to? I mean, there's, there are no consequences. I'm, I'm echoing. Who is that? I'm also echoing on my end. Me too. Really? I do not know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Okay, this Someone is annoying. Is calling in. Uh, what do I do? Hello. Yeah, hi, Tao. Can you say something, please? Can you say something, please? I Hello. can hear myself. I can hear you guys perfectly. My, my... I can hear everyone perfectly, not bouncing off anything. So bizarre. Echoing. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm still echoing. Yeah, I, can still I guess. Hear the echo. Yeah, I can still hear it too. Yeah, I can still hear it too. Is it? Rachel, could you it. do me a favor, please, okay. and hang up and come back into the studio? Okay, let's do that. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So let me go to Inkirika. Inkirika, why do you think men are so attracted to single women? It's the. It's the. It's what that word, how they put it, you know, say me and Oibu were not very well. Is <laughs> that the thrill of the chase? Is it, is it called the thrill of the chase? What's that? Is it that, that's what it's yes, called? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Is yes. that thrill of the chase and the fact that the forbidden, you know, once they say I do, eh? You are not supposed to go anywhere else. Some men's mentality now is that how can you be eating only a soup on a daily basis? 
Yeah. The variety. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's, all I can say is it's long throat. Long throat. My Igbo people say, ah, really? Long throat. Mm. Because if you knew you were going to do, be doing, do, hey, I'm speaking English, I need to beat my tongue. If you know you're going to be doing long throat, you shall stay single. Yeah. But they just want yeah. that forbidden fruit. Like Adam and Eve ate in the Garden of Eden. They just want it. They're not allowed, but mm-hmm. unfortunately, they can't help themselves. It's like, if they see a single girl, all their body will be doing a like Pajako. <laughs> so, it can't be helped. I don't know why they do it, but they do. And it's never going to stop. Ne- I don't think it's ever going to stop. Yeah. I don't think it's ever going to stop. I, I don't, I mean, for me, I come back to... Come back to the point of consequences. So this is what I'm going to do because I can actually still hear myself echoing. So I'm going to leave the studio. Yeah, I'm going to log out and I'm going to come back in. So Bimbo, if you could take over for now and I'll I'll, I'll join you guys in just a sec, please. Okay. I think Rachel's back in the studio though. Rachel, can you hear me? Rachel, can you say something? Let me see if you are still echoing. I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm echoing. I can I can hear you echoing too. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna log out. I'll do the same again. Okay. Rounds are open for Viva Ninja Radio. No. No. Don't worry, Bimbo. If you take over the show, please. Okay. So, in case. There are three participants in the conference. The woman them, yeah. and have their kick and like their wife wouldn't leave them. You, the ones I can't hear you very well, babe. What did you say? I said, do you think it's because you believe that their wife wouldn't leave them? The ones that the woman, a woman that chases, the single woman is the one that chases them. You don't yeah. necessarily be chasing after them. I don't think so. There's some men. There's some men that their wives do everything perfect, but it's just that nonsense can't be helped. I know a guy, not a friend of mine, but I heard it, excuse me, I heard it from another friend, who, but I know the guy he was talking about. He said that his girlfriend actually kept his marriage together. So by having the girl outside, he stayed in his marital home, he said. That didn't make sense to me because I could not understand later on i got to understand kind of like obviously he wasn't getting away from home but he liked the family life it's just like a woman being at her being in in the marriage and you know she's not happy but she's still there she has her reasons well that's how i saw it for the guy so i kind of like not so from his point of view but i kind of like understood why some guys do it he said him having the girlfriend outside whatever desires he couldn't satisfy at home or whatever you, you know there's some guys they they keep a a, a, a a a good girl in the house, and they have a freak out there. Yes, yes, that's yes. Head. That freak that keeps them, you know, on a high is like taking coke. The girl is like coke to them, while the wife is the one that keeps them grounded, sane, and they, you know. So wife is always wife, and they have the kids. They just like coming back to that homely life. As far as he said, he said he liked coming back to that homely life. But having that girlfriend made him stay grounded with his wife. I mean. It's, so really, he was justifying cheating. I couldn't make head or tail of it. After a while, I kind of like gave up trying to think about it because I was having a headache for another person's problem. So I can, I can understand like, it. You can understand, Abby. Yeah, I can understand it. I'm back in. I'm still echoing, but the show must oh. go on. So we're just going to go right ahead and do this and hope okay. that the echoing stops at some point. Mm. So, oh, you um, what I meant, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, and no, I can understand him saying that. He is not the first yeah. one I've heard, first man I've heard saying this. Oh, wow. I've actually heard men say, heard men it, say is it is my mistress. My mistress that kept me in my marriage because I could have sex when I wanted to, because I could have the kind of conversation I wanted when I wanted it, because my mistress was bringing more to the table than just, oh, guess what Junior did? Oh, guess what they said in PTA meeting? 
oh, why didn't you take the rubbish out? Because I could have that kind of life that I wanted, that I still crave. Yeah. And because at a point I was telling my wife, telling my wife, telling my wife, but she was like, oh, you know, this is what married life, ah, well, babes, I'm tired. Well, babes, I'm tired. Well, babes, I'm tired. But she's not too tired to tie a tie and do face beats for one and a half hours to go for one 50th birthday party or 40th birthday party. She's not too tired. That It made me realize that when women get married, they have completely different uh, priorities and, and ideologies and completely different ideas of what they think marriage should be so the same woman who you married because oh my gosh she has legs all the way to heaven oh my gosh she can you know she can when she wears a pencil skirt oh my gosh their father you know is now tying rapper on her chest inside us from morning till night meanwhile meanwhile Nobody is saying once you're a married woman, you should still be wearing corset and stockings and you should still be doing all of that every day. But from time to time, make an effort, do something, you know. But my wife is like, oh, you're going to wake up the baby. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, and actually, to a large extent, she's still my best friend. To a large extent, I don't want to leave her. To a large but I do miss the communication i do miss the reasons why i got married to her i do miss the woman that i married now i don't have my ride or die chick now i have Iya junior in my house that is who i'm living with not that babe that i met in uni not that whatever whatever and this isn't talking about her physical attributes i'm not talking about stretch marks or oh, she's got bigger or she's got smaller or she's got i'm not talking about any of that i'm just talking about the way her mentality has changed to that of being a mother so it is having that and by the way i'm not justifying this i'm just explaining it he is saying it is having that outlet where I can still get that level of conversation that I liked that 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 got me interested in her in the first place. It is seeing a little flash of thigh or a little cleavage or a little that there's stuff I will buy for my wife and my wife will say ah temi gomba waja de ah wojo ati wogon you know if I even wore it out you two you won't you won't like me or you two you won't want me to be seen out like this so I have things that i bought for my wife that is at the back of the wardrobe or whatever she's decided on some kind of modesty that i didn't ask her to do for me <laughs> she's the one who has just decided that no as a married woman no it gets as married woman until they wear clothes is not it gets as married women they present themselves it get you know so um but that balance outside is what has kept him in the home because he's not willing to leave the home. He's just looking for what is missing. That is their story. That is their explanation. That is their excuse. Uh, before, I think Taiwo wanted to say something or somebody, I'm not sure who was about to cut in there. I'll come right back to you, Taiwo. Just give me a minute. Let me just introduce Dolako because he's actually joined us. Dolako, hi. How are you guys doing, ladies? Gentlemen. Hi, Bay. Even hey. though I was hey, echoing. You? <laughs> no, you also echo in my ear. I, I know. I know. We don't know what the problem is. And I'm scared to cut off the show and start all over again. No, let's carry on. It's not me. Am I echoing? Can anyone? Am I echoing? No, you're fine. No, you're not. You you see, I can hear you guys. I can hear the slight echo, but it's not major, major. But it's not major, it's just there. Where, where is everybody sitting? Well, I say all of us, they're used to. I'll be ready right for a while now, they make me go and start up. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Rachel saying the echo is really quite bad on her end. Um, I can hear it on this end as well. I don't know what to do. Should we log out and log back in? No, 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 that's fine. Let's carry on, man. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Ah. See the Taiwo. continue. Oh yeah, Taiwo, say what you wanted to say. Yes. We're talking about institution of marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right? And we all know what that means. Yeah, it's one wife, one man. Uh-huh. Any other excuse to say, oh, some I say, oh, you want to get together? That's just bullshit. It doesn't work in a situation of marriage. Either you're married for better or worse, you and your husband, you and your wife. That's it. If an explanation comes away, oh, uh, because I have a girlfriend outside, is the one that keep my marriage together. Once before, he was wearing mini skirt, now he's tying uh-huh. up. The, the stages in life, what you used to do in your primary school is not what you're going to do in secondary school. What you did in secondary school is not what you're going to do in university. Yeah. When you're dating, it's yeah. going to be married. So, is that you marry someone to wear your u- uniform or uniform or you're in tandem together? So, okay, this is what we want for our life. I'm not saying it's perfect. You have to work out together, like uh, my senior always say, boss is uh, like you, your husband and wife. You have to, it's hard work. You can't just say cut and run when my wife is not giving me uh, a spare soup. You want to go and chop it, chop it, de outside. You know, and if your uh, wife allows you to do that, you can. But as far as I'm concerned, the way we've been brought up, the traditional sense of being married, one man, one wife. If you have a problem, you sort it out together. But if you want to look at it with the modern twist, that you have an arrangement, like uh, our brother, what do you now? This man that had an arrangement with his wife, that they can date someone outside. That's your palaver. But when we're talking about marriage, let's not get it twisted. I beg, please. So what you're That's saying what is, saying. let's not try to justify it. Let's not try to moderate it or call it another name. Oh, let's call it spade a spade what it is. It's not allowed. We think, uh-huh. Okay, we did, uh, let's, uh, let's have that man. We did allow his wife to have another arrangement outside. I was telling you, it's when the book was telling you, they keep married to work together. But if you see for me. No, but this is how it's always been. I know there are many men. I know we have polygamy, and this is what our uh, some men like to talk about. And they'll say, uh, at least our grandfathers used to make it legit, and our grandfathers actually used to marry the the women that they were dating. But I know for a large part. Sorry, Rachel. You're about to say something. You seek to light fire. Is that, is, that, is, is that an excuse? No, 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 no. I'm even, even dealing with that as an excuse or as a reason. Even that is not a valid reason because apart from the chiefs, we all have parents. I, maybe I would imagine that some of us come from well-to-do homes. Some of us come from, oh, my grandfather had 18 wives. Oh, my grandfather had four wives. My grandfather had six wives. This was not the will. There were many, many men, the palm wine tappers, the tailors, the, the, the you know, metal smith or whatever the case may be, who had girlfriends. The only time they brought the girl into the home is if she got pregnant. And even at that, that was not a... a guaranteed uh, thing they had girlfriends either that or a whole bunch of I hate calling children um, bastards a whole bunch of children born outside of the home Dolak was about to say something I'm listening well, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, you know, why do people get married? Uh, you know, uh, I mean, you're a 30-something bobo, or the baby is 20-something, and, and you see each other, and she's just looking, banging hot. Uh, bobo also is looking not too shabby himself, and he seems to have his head straightened. And... Okay, so you'll start date, and then after a while, there's this there's this assumption that okay, we should move on to the next stage because we dated. Now they've not even gone down and look at exa- you know examine the dating period they in, and see okay, are we really gelling together? And then they just feel like there's this automatic process that should happen. Oh, we did it for a year, a year and a half. So we should propose now. And then they propose we should get married a year after. And then 
and then they get married and the honeymoon phase is over, everybody's back to their life, going back to work or whatever. And then you know when the it's like they wake up and I go, Who the hell did I marry? Well, you never took time to find out who you want who you want you were gonna get married to. You see, marriage is not a bed of roses. It's not going to be about oh, everything's gonna be all so lovely, be like Hi honey, how are you? How was your day? Oh, I missed you, blah blah Oh, believe me. There will be days where either he comes in or she comes in and you're probably looking at her and going like, Man, I can't stand your ass right now. You know, there'll be days like that. But what keeps you going is also knowing that the person you have with you next to you has your back, no question asked. Yes, yes. Uh, and then you, you need you also when you start having kids, you have to start thinking ahead and go, okay, once these kids finish college and they all have their own life and we're empty nesters, what are we gonna do? For women, women get too focused on, oh, it's my family, my husband and my kids, not necessarily in that order. But, you know, the focus is so much on the kids, and you haven't provided this for the household. You haven't. There was something he saw in you when he decided to approach you and talk to you. Yes. It was either you were looking real sexy mm-hmm. that day or, or, or whatever. There was something that you did that kept him attracted, and you're not doing that. Yes. For the bobo, it's the same thing applies also. There's something that you were doing when you were doing that chase, when you were running around trying, ah, she must be mine, she must agree. You were sending flowers if you were the flower guys. You, if he's in if he's Niger, you were probably sending credits like crazy. Like crazy. <laughs> No, you went to Ted Joshua and bought jeans. If you buy her white Wrangler right. jeans or more, you don't enter. Exactly. So why not act the moment she, she now says that I do? You now act like, hmm, I don't catch you. You'll be my mm. prisoner. I, these are the things that destroy marriages. It, yeah. To me, it, it, going outside to, to try... Um, uh, fish pepper soup because the cow the way that they give you for house don't oh. really, don't bore you has that does not help your marriage Absolutely. you are only trying to deny or you're trying not to look at what is causing the breakdown in your marriage by just looking outside the moment you decide to look in what and examine it you'll find it mm. So I, I I agree, but then I also think there is nothing there is nothing in 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 history traditionally there didn't seem to be any repercussions to this infidelity for men. Now, with women's emancipation where women have their own jobs and their own money and things like that, and divorce is no longer the stigma that it once did, we are now seeing an increase in women who are unfaithful so this idea before that oh men these men that are unfaithful oh the, 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 the buyer, they'll say oh men are visual creatures oh it's men that what well, they can't eat a bowl of soup every day because because they must eat um a goosey soup it's men that this it's men that that blah 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 the increase in women cheating is to me proof positive that it's just a case of options. It's a case of it's no longer a stigma. It's just a case of it's no longer what it used to be. And so people are doing what they want to do and following hedonistic, uh, following hedon, hedonistic um, paths with no remorse. Because before, if your husband cheats and you even know who he's cheating with, Unless you are ready to pack out, of which who is ready to leave husband's house? Who wants to deal with Korile or Kobe? What what he sits at? That's even if she is the one who left. Um. So the only end result, the only outlet to your frustration is to deal with the woman who is causing the frustration for you. On the other hand, on the other hand, if the man does it to the point where 
you know, this outside chick is even pregnant. There is nothing that will happen. His parents will come and beg you. The pastor will beg you. They will tell you, no stand up, Paul. No stand up from your bed rights. No stand up from your property. Not let one girl come from nowhere. You are our wife. You are our wife. But you know what will happen? You will just forgive him. Eh? My bino. She's small to you. Small. They will bring it. Well, no, cool it. They will bring the girl and tell her to kneel down in front of you as though that signifies any kind of humility. As though some girl kneeling down. You know what? Yeah. You know what yeah? Madness past madness. You know what I mean? You uh, can't do that to you. Maybe you're watching too many old movies. I don't know. I don't understand what you're talking about, Taiwo. Are you telling me that this doesn't happen? It depends who yeah, yeah. all all the people about it. That's why it's not generic. Yeah, yeah. It's just very you can't just accept that. And you can't be a work I'm only like Taiwo. Taiwo. You will say it won't happen to you or to your sisters because you won't accept it. I guarantee you there are wives. Sorry, what were you saying, Tom? What was it like? I've been cheated on. Like, totally disgusting way. I walked away. You can do that if walking away is an option. There are women that all they have is the misses that they are. There are women that all they have is, I mean, they're living in a house where they have a joint account, where the husband is the main breadwinner, where they've got three kids. Maybe in the time that they got married, the father that gave their hand away in marriage has passed on. Maybe in the time that they got married, many things have changed for them. Maybe their husband told them, leave work and sit at home. Let, let me open one small boutique for you or something. So whatever degree they had is completely rusty now. They don't even know how to turn on a computer or whatever the case may be. And there are women like this. Taiwo, this isn't Nollywood, this isn't anything. There are wives that being married and staying married is a better option, or rather, let me rephrase that, is the lesser of two evils compared to. Do you know what, people? I think I'm just going to hang up. This, this is not really working, and I'm quite concerned. <laughs> about the playback i'm quite concerned about the fact that we're, we're going to spend all our energy and all our brain talking about something that none of us can even hear what do you want us to do then i would like everyone to get off and then i'm gonna um call back in so we're gonna completely hang up and we're gonna um uh come back into the show all right i'll call back in it okay thank you all Hello? No, I think this is fine for me. I can't hear myself. Oh, for crying out loud. No, you are spotless for me. Uh, uh, you know.
we're still live so just bear with me let me see who's here right, there's just you and me okay. let me see if anybody okay. else is because you you normally drop off at nine don't you anyway so yeah if you're the only in. one with the problem you can drop off and come back in but let me see what the other people for now for me it's completely fantastic it's spotless so we'll see we'll see how this goes let's one by one take them in one by one and see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. all right there's just you and I on the line for now. We'll see what happens. I don't know where okay. everybody else is. So. Uh, Bimbo's just joined us. Bimbo, would you like to say something, please? Yeah, hello. Fantastic. Bimbo is not echoing for me either. Bimbo, am I echoing for you? Uh, no. Okay. In where curious, Bimbo... I'm here. Hi, Bim. Hi. Am I clear? Hello. Yeah, tell me. That was clear for me. Yo, 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 what's going down? <laughs> <laughs> Are we echoing before you echo your yo, yo? No, my dear, yo, yo, yo. You can hear us very well. Very loud and clear. Fantastic. Ah, okay. Okay. So, where is Taiwan? Taiwan in the UK. Taiwan's in the UK, yes. What, 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 it's already what, outside what? us. It's the other two. No, it's where? Where? Are you? Yeah, so we're just waiting for Bimbo and uh, say Bimbo for Barry oh, White Rachel. and Rachel. Yeah. And yeah, okay. So we'll wait for them and so let's let's get it going now that it's actually finally working. Um, uh, in case if it continues to be annoying for you, please just hang up and then come back in. I will. Okay. So yeah, so I think for a lot of people, so Tyler was saying, why would anybody accept that? Why would anybody? There are many women who don't have an option. There are women who do have options oh. that they cheat. They're like, mm, but, but what's going to happen? He will vex and go, isn't it? And uh, they let him go. There are women who cheat because, you know, now they have options. They too are doing the whole, I can't eat whatever every day. Oh, he doesn't fulfill my needs. So her needs might be financial or her needs might be having a man around the home, blah, 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 blah. So, um, Dolakwa, hi, welcome back. Dolakwa, am I echoing to you? Hey. No, no, not at all. Ah. What about me? You are perfect. Yeah. So it's a, now in Kiru, who was the only one who wasn't hearing an echo, is now the only one who is hearing an echo. So, hearing <laughs> echo while at day. So in Kiru ah. might have to hang yeah. up and come back in. So yeah, um, if it gets bad. Yeah, it's okay for now. Okay, great. Uh, we'll just wait for Rachel to join us. In Kiru, if you'd like to send her a message that we um we all hung up and came back in, and it's clear for all of us. So if she would like to join us, so. Let me say this. When we talk about, oh, why do married men like cheating? Why do married men like single girls? Why do married men not face their fronts? Why do married men, you know, do the way they do and act the way they do and don't face their marriage and face the vows and respect the vows that they made, um, blah, 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 blah. Why do you think, because they're not dating themselves, right? And they're not dragging these single girls into a relationship with them. Why is it that you think single girls go for married men? And I hope we will have a whole bunch of answers other than they give money. So let me go around the room and let me start with Bimbo once again. Bimbo, if we're saying married men like single girls, married men like single girls, why do why do single girls go for married men? Well, it's easier, isn't it? They don't have to, you know, even if they fall in love, he, he will still give them enough attention. They can, you know, get their bills paid for, married men tend to be established, um, and, you know, they don't have to worry about, oh, the young guy who's going to end up breaking their heart. If this one wants to go, at least they've got some money out of him. Chances are he's not going to leave her. Um, and even if he does, They'll just find another married guy, and they don't have to worry about it. Uh, do I love him? Does he love him? Because you know, chances are, so long as he keeps coming back, they know they're gonna have his full attention. And mm -hmm. it's just and the other thing as well is, bitches are just greedy. <laughs> These hoes just want it has money. nothing to do with the fact that the man already has a woman. That's not their own. Uh, he says I'm pretty. He buys me a Brazilian hair. Mm. Yeah, he pays mm. my bills. He buys me stuff. 
and other stars. And so stars. Stars. And stars. Yes, you know, they never buy them stuff. It's, it's stars, man. man. They get them stars. So it's, it's just, and you, you always find, and then some of them, they are a little, they fall into the category of, frankly, it's exploration. They've been okay. alone so long. It's yeah. just like, oh my God, he thinks my VJJ is made of gold. He adores me. Ah, yes, so it doesn't matter if he has another wife. Really, me and him were meant to be soulmates. That woman just stole him before I got him. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. It's not that delusional. <laughs> Ridiculous. So let me talk about, let me talk to Inkiru. Because I have some very controversial whatever on this. But Inkiru, why do you think single girls go for married men? Please hold the line. Oh, crikey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard that too. I've <laughs> never heard that. That was in Kiri's uh, number before, right before it fell off. So let me talk to Dolako. Dolako, we talk about um, married men going for single girls, married men not facing their fronts and respecting their vows. Why do you think it is that single girls give married men? The, because it, it, there must be... A precedent, right? Something must be happening for married men to even look around and say, single girl, you know, there must be a, a chance that she go green. So why do you think that? Mm. Oh, boy, I don't, re I can't really say. I mean, I haven't done any research or take, taken a poll, but if a dedicated guess will probably be that looking at today's state of morals today, mm. it's all about the Benjamins, it's about the money, mm. all right? It, it's pretty much payment for service, and that's what's going on. Uh, in most cases, the single girls already know you're married. The, in fact, yep. Yep. They, may, they may even know who your wife is or probably oh, yeah. even seen her and said hi to her and greet her or may even be familiar with her. But they know definitely well that, you know what? you will take care of some of my bills, you know. Yes. And for that, I will provide a service for you. And the service, whether rightly justified or not, is what the guy is looking for. It could yes. be an issue of where he let him go mm. somewhere to go. Mm. And he's willing to pay for it. He might not think he's paying for it, but you definitely pay for it when you're buying gifts, when you're doing that. Oh, he's in no doubt that he's paying for it. He's in no doubt that if for any reason, you know, he he um he told the girl, I don't have money, 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 and did it for like a month. This I oh baby, I love you, boo, oh boo, what a boo, and it's what he bear, and it would bear, it would all vanish and it would all die. So, you know, they know they're paying for it. They know they're paying for it. They're paying for this attention, they know they're paying for this you know, whatever, which is why a lot of bus conductors don't have, like, four, five, six babes. <laughs> They're paying for it, right? Definitely. Uh, you, I, I, I don't know. There's something about marriage that I am definitely not an expert on marriage, but I can tell you that, in, in a sense, I married my best friend in the fact mm -hmm. that we have a lot of things together. We do a lot of things together. We, we, we have almost uh, uh, virtually the same likes and dislikes, and sometimes, you know, we find ourselves even completing each other's sentences like, oh, no, you did say that. I was just thinking that right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. That is what... Mm -hmm. That is what I believe it should be. So I am not scared of saying, okay, when well, my kids totally leave the house now, what, what am I going to do? We both love to travel. It doesn't matter if we're flying on a jet plane or we're driving a car. We just love traveling. So I know that we'll be good so mm. long as I have money to cover our expenses. And that's one thing. The other thing with, with me is that the moment I realize that my wife does not stress me about money, not that I'm hiding anything from her, for God's sake, it goes into an account that she that she has access to because she's a, a, a joint uh, owner of the account. Yes. In fact, I don't even take anything. She does the, all the bill payments. It's none of my business. She does whatever. All I just need, let me buy fuel into my car. And give me, give me but, uh, money for my fuel and I, one or two things and I, let me be If going. I can make it back to work, then we we'll, we are guaranteed that the next check will come in. Will come in exactly. You exactly. Know. And and uh, the moment 
Yeah, and you see, I, and I, I, there's this thing that I hear people do that, that I, I, I just don't understand. It. This idea of, it happens in Niger a lot, where the man basically earns money, or both of them are earning an income, but the man, for whatever reason, and I should say both of them do it, they just basically want to just, you know, put out just what is for the bill or the upkeep of the, or upkeep of the house, but whatever I do with my balance, which is if I want, if I want to go and buy land, I can do it. It's none yes. of your business. Yes. You don't need to know I'm buying land, blah, blah, blah. I don't get it. it why? And, and the funny thing is a lot, of them have, a lot of them have fallen foul. Tyro, give me just one minute. There was a man in my area that's really retired when I was growing up, and he did this exact thing. Went out, bought houses, did things where... Uh, so you can't tell a woman everything that you're up to. You can't tell a woman everything that because all she sees is opportunities for money. You tell a woman you're building a house, eh, so tell a lower cement. Modern software, we move to Dubai. Modern software, we move to where we are just a ton new shop. Me, modern, you know that. Um, and so you have money for you cement. Know. And uh, one minute, please. Then he um. He died, and he died. He was a wealthy man, so he didn't exactly leave her poor. But what it meant was he had a whole bunch of properties that only his driver knew about because it is the driver who takes him to survey from when it is land before it even becomes houses, before he even starts putting tenants. So all the driver did was the very next day as this man died, he didn't even go back to that building again. He didn't go back to the house, didn't go back to anything. He just started going to the houses and collecting rent. That's all he did. Then, you know, of course, the, the tenants know him. They know him as Baba's boy and everything. Ah, Ara Baba, yeah, he said I should come and collect the rent. Ara Baba, yeah, he sent me. And of course, because they've all seen him before, because they all know him before, they all handed over the rent, no questions asked, nothing going on, nothing happening. And it was a friend of his that saw him, you know, this beer apologist. Ah, my guy, you're looking fresh. Oh, ah, you're on Don Betal, this, 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 this. Too many Guinness stouts have been had. Too many this that has happened. And the guy just said, eh, we want the landlord that Papandodo near that he has turned to by first landlord. Do this is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. And that one bad belle went to tell Madame. That's how this guy found himself in prison. Otherwise, this is how this man would have worked all his life, had houses, had because he died unexpectedly, and the driver yeah, would have collected I mean... everything. Everything. You know what? I, for sake of you know, when I was getting close to getting married, I was I was getting all all sort of advice mm -hmm. from people here and there. Uh, you know, oh, when you're married, you have to understand that with your wife, if you have hundred naira, tell her you have fifty naira mm -hmm. because she will budget how she will budget how you spend that fifty naira. So if you have hundred and you tell her hundred, she will budget how she will spend the hundred. So. But for whatever reason, I just always believe that when you, it's it's pretty much if you want something kept properly, in fact, keep it a, keep it with the biggest corporates that can take it. That can steal. <laughs> when they know they are the megad for it, when they are the megad for it, they won't misuse it anyhow. That's the one they call. So, but don't let me ask for it, and you tell me you don't know where it is. Oh. Don't let me ask so you when I say, <laughs> what I say exactly when I say all the income, the family income goes to you, madam. Now you know that what bills have to be paid. Mm -hmm. So it will be very reckless of you to decide that you need to get get Brazilian here when there's when there's mm -hmm. mortgage coming out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if there's anything left, and we've put some around the, uh, the aside for saving, and you decide that you want to go and do this, and say, ah, you know me, give me that thing look rough, and I say, ah, not a problem. Oh God, my dad, how much is left? He said, we have this. Okay, everything is done. He said, yes. I said, okay, fine. Do we have something to live on for two weeks? He said, yes. I said, okay, whatever is left is yours. Have fun. That's all.
that's all. But there are many husbands who don't look at, at it that way. Taiwo, you were actually about to say something. Yes. Taiwo. I was about to say something. Taiwo. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. What I was going to say is that uh, when you spoke about, okay, um, uh, this man that passed away, that mm. had lands and started buying and stuff. And so if you're consulting your family, but your own matter. Obviously, your your family. I mean, your uh, your extended family. We side you against your immediate family, because the way I see things, by the way I've seen my friends, my family, the way the the, the equilibrium has worked, is they seek advice outside their immediate family. That way, we advise their own their own side against the other side. So we start taking side. So mm. if you have twenty pounds, so is that don't tell your wife you have twenty pounds. Tell her you have five pounds. So we will go like you said. We will go on and say, "What we what we show." Get that side. And I went. If you are in a union, if you are in a marriage, you have to base your relationship on honesty and trust between the two of you. Yeah. You know, there's no point you say, "Okay, you have ten pounds," and like the later on they find that you have like I say, yeah, twenty pounds money while you're suffering. Mm. So all that kind of things, it, it doesn't help the relationship for you to be consulting other people about your marital affair. If there's something that you need to sort out, affair, so affair, yeah, no, yourself. your marital affair. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that your marital affair. You know, you know, all those kind of things. You know, you have to keep it in house. No, 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 to the outside. That's where I see it. You know. So let me say that, let me say what I think is attractive about married men. I would like to use this medium to say that I wouldn't date a married man, but this is not for any moral, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is down to, I don't like being number two. I don't like that. I can't call you when I want to call you. I don't like that. I'm alone Christmas. I'm alone Easter. I'm alone my birthday. I'm alone your birthday. I'm alone every, mm, 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 I beg. But this is what is attractive about a married man. Married men don't see things the way single men do at all. Married men are the defenders of the universe in their houses. They are used to problem solving. They solve problems every day. Sometimes this problem might be, might be financial. Like, let's just throw money at it. Oh, baby, is your car broken? Okay, let me get someone to fix your car or let me take it to the mechanic that I use or whatever. Sometimes it might be something else. It might be resources. It might be, oh, um, I know I know a guy who works in so-so-and-so place. Okay, if you're looking for a job, let me see who I can talk to or whatever. Because this is what being married is is i'm hoping donakmo can correct me or contradicts me this is what you do all day you solve problems you you th and that's another thing that married men do they are unselfish so it's something that happens once you're married you have to think about other people if you're a woman you'll have to think about your husband if you're a man you have to think about your wife sometimes the thought process might be purely practical <laughs> this woman so no, basically, the man, basically the man already has enough that can have a stamp Thanks. Exactly. Some of this nafdak, his wife taught him. Some of this nafdak, life taught him. It might just be as simple as when you are married, you don't think like a single man. You take your problem to go and meet your single boyfriend and your single. Eh? Oh my god. So what will we now do now? Eh? Okay, but babe, the guys are coming. You know, we said we were going on that trip. Oh, you know, we said we were gonna do like. A man, if somebody, if something happened, I, I know Dolapo's children are, are, are adults now and grown and you can leave them alone in the house. But I can bet my bottom dollar that 10 years ago, even the simplest Dolapo, what are you doing this afternoon? You will run through a mental, oh my gosh, will the madam be in? So even if I go out, will somebody be at home to be with the children? Oh my gosh, is today the day that we said we were going to do? Is there is there a prayer meeting? Is there this? Is there that? that? Instantly, before you give me an answer within 30 seconds, you will have run through a whole bunch of things. A married man or a single man only has to think of himself. Me, I don't have any kids in this house. If you say to me, Rachel, stand up, let's go to, to 
Paris tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Passport, check. Car, door key, check. Leg, two leg, check. L uh, the luggage one. Okay, I'm, right. I'm good to go. Can Inkiru say the same yes? where she is. Can I have the same conversation with Inkiru and say, Inkiru, let's go to Paris. Inkiru can't do that because the first thought will be, I got kids. So a married man is already a problem solver. A married man is already a nurturer, a defender, a protector, someone you can take ideas to. There's very little that will happen to you as a single lady that a married man has not heard or will be stumped. What do you want to talk about? Oh, rent, right? What do you want to, what happened? Your phone has finished, what happened? Your landlord said you should pack. What is the thing that we have not heard before? So if they're difficult to face, you can't face them. You can't bring the problem that they've not heard of before or they've not seen before or they've not. Now, when you are also a married man, you are in the business of pleasing a woman 247. Dolako, am I right or wrong? Ah, mm. Yes, so. Ah. You're, 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 even when you're not doing that at the moment, you're on call. You ah, even yes. learn the art of reading faces, reading moods. You have things that you say that you think you were just joking, you look at her face, or the way she serves you your dinner later on that evening, you you know... No, that don't require a PhD. Ah! Huh? You know Oti Pojayi. So, where a single guy will be like, hey, she won't vex me, she vex. Oh, or, or even worse, I didn't know you were angry. You will struggle to have that situation with a married man. Because... He, he's used to women. Do you know what it is to live with a woman in an am amorous situation for years on end? I'm not talking about your sister because there are lots of people who say, oh, I have six sisters. I understand women. No, you don't. No, you don't. Your sister has never cried over your matter. Your sister has never been mad at you because you said something about the size of her butt or you said something about the dress that she's wearing or the friends that she's keeping or whatever the case may be. Your sister... So... To live with a woman, to understand the way the female mind works on a two four seven basis. I mean, <laughs> what does a single girl, oh, she wants to pack face. And you, is it packing a face he hasn't seen before? Is it mood he hasn't seen before? Is it, baby, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Baby, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Baby, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Baby, what has he not seen before? What are you going to do? What are you going to bring to the table? So he is a PhD in woman pleasing and all of that so yes money is a massive part of it you know a married man possibly if you can take care of a whole family chances are you can take care of her as well that is what the woman is thinking but it way more than that because don't we all know rich men who are stingy have we not all seen men who will not part with a penny but it's way more than that it's something that is like there's a there's a a mojo. There's a mojo that that single guys don't have, and that's why they seem attractive, and that's why my single girls go for married men as much as married men go for single. You know that there, there's there's a point where oh, eh, he bought you credits, he bought... It's not credits that keeps the girl hanging in there. It's not credits that will make a a single girl say, okay, baby, I'm getting dressed. Okay, you dropping by at uh, at 7 o'clock. Okay, I'll be ready. Oh, credits. Credits. But see, that's, that's the thing I don't, I, I don't get. Why am I... Let's look at two situations now. Okay. I go ahead and buy a, uh, a BMW X3 yeah. for girlfriend. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, baby, that is so sweet. Oh, I love you. In fact, I would die with you. Blah blah blah. You're the best boy boyfriend ever. Thank you. <laughs> I buy the same X3 for wife, X3 for wife at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so nice. I love the car. But dear. She can we really afford it? Remember, we said we wanted to build that property. The the other one. Do we do, do we really need this now? 
That is the difference. So why do men still go out there and do this? Because if, there is a there is a there's a payback for every time your the girlfriend payback is so temporary. But that's to you. That's in your currency. You that is so wait so you are saying that Zimbabwean dollar is not important to you to another person that currency is what they need to buy the markets at sea yes i buy her a bmw x3 understand that no man bankrupts his self or his family closes down his company gathers all the money in his colo to buy a bmw x3 so by the time he's buying the bmw x3 it is because he can afford it it might stretch him a little bit but he will not buy or stretch to anything that will cause trouble either for him or his home kakabe what is kakabe instead of that he will get a lesser lesser demand girl Ah, this is a BMW series girlfriend, Abby. And she, thank you. So go and Let get me the get one the that girl wants that wants Toyota BMX. Corolla. That wants BMX, Toyota Corolla. Okay. The, the one that wants Toyota Corolla, this time tomorrow she'll want uh, BMW. BMX. Or the one that is happy to to for me to be paying her Uber, who I pay her Uber, and she's like, she's ready to open her legs as wide as wide can be. The ones that are still grateful for small, small things, I buy her a... a whatever, I pay for her ticket. Look at what you're saying. In Kiruka, did in Kiruka not confess last week that she used her money to go and visit man? There are men that don't put out like that. So. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, yeah, don't, don't use in Kiruka as example. Don't mind because now. That, that, don't mind that. That, <laughs> that, 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 that was, that was you know, a silent that, confession. That, that was a silent confession. As in nobody now told me that I should be using it every day. Okay. <laughs> so, but my point is, for for the guy, paying buying that BMW, which by the way he can totally afford, because for any reason he couldn't afford it, the next thing you hear is that babe is a gold digger. That babe is a high maintenance babe. That babe thinks she's something else. There are girls like her. Oh, oh, definitely he can afford it. All right. Okay, but, but then it wait. Still does it it but still doesn't doing... take away from the fact that you're going. She's just taking. No, she's not she's just taking. taking. And taking and she's taking sitting and taking there and taking listening to your badass jokes. She's sitting there taking your lame sex, where the only person you've ever had sex with is your wife, who also you're takes making an your... assumption that his jokes are, are bad. You're making an assumption that he, in fact, it's, may be terribly. You're making a whole lot of assumptions. I, it, because that is what happens. If if I'm talking about Aristo relationship now, sorry, Rachel, is that Rachel? Rachel, I can hear you echoing. Is you that contagious all of us the Am first time around? <laughs> this is bad. It's not good. <laughs> it's you that contagious us, so we were on our own, no. Sorry. So in 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 a in a Aristo situation. Yes, we have a new breed of Aristo. We have the young boys who are working in FCMB or in GTB. They are EDs and executive directors and they're in their you know, late 40s, early 50s. They go to the gym three times a week and all of that good stuff. They are civilized, they are fantastic. The only difference is they are already married, right? Okay, fantastic. I know that. But I'm telling you that the average Aristo, and I'm glad there are other girls in this room, please tell me if I'm wrong. The average Aristo doesn't make an effort. Like, I know you'll be around. I'll call you on Friday, you will come around. I'll call you on Saturday, you will come around. Why? Because I gave you that BM, not because I gave you the BMW, but because before you saw the BMW, you go to an Aristo and you tell him, baby, I need 100K. He's going to give you 30K or 40K. Baby, I need 200. He will just keep give you enough to keep you ticking by. He will give you enough to keep you coming back. And in all of that, he will not do the things he will do for his wife, i.e. if his madame was to turn around and say to him, 
Oh, when you get home, don't pull off your shoes and just throw them anywhere. Can you just put, I don't know, the house girl you put in this house. First of all, side chick will never even open her mouth when it is not that her village people are worrying her. She will never open her mouth and say, oh, when you get home, take off your shoes. And when you come to this house, take off your shoes and put them in the proper place. What happen? When he sits and talks ad nauseam about, hey, baby, you know that guy I was telling you at work that likes looking for my trouble. Baby, if you know what I, yes, I wrote a strictly worded, sternly worded email. I now copied the organa and she's like, ah, baby, Apple, you're so intelligent, Sha. Because <laughs> that's her ATM right there. Whereas a wife may, or if it's funny, yes, she will laugh. That's fair enough. But a wife may say, eh, a statement a, a side chick would never, ever say. So when I'm saying bad jokes, I'm not making an assumption that his jokes are bad. I'm just saying the side chick will put up with a lot more than the wife will because she cannot run the risk of anything stopping. Whereas the wife has the commitment of the ring. You know we're in this together. You know if I tell you if it is for your good. So when I'm telling you don't put your shoes all over the place, like, yes, do you yourself, do you want to live in a pigsty? That's what I mean. Not necessarily that all his jokes are bad or all his... It is literally a case of... Yes, Rachel. Rachel? Oh, Rachel's having serious audio problems today. Oh dear. But anyway, so let's move on to the revenge. Is Inkira still with us? I am, oh I am, I am. Inkira, why is it why do you think that women face their rivals when they find why do you think wives face their rivals when they find out that their husband find is out. cheating? I think it's fear of what the husband might do if they challenge them. Yeah. Do you understand? As in, you know what, if you're not happy with it, get out. If you're not, you know, and like you said earlier, wanting to remain the missus of yes. the owner, the house. So they would not fight them. The easier target would be to attack the other woman because obviously she's trespassing in a married man's, in a, in a, in a marriage that is solidified by God. Yes. Not knowing that your husband was one that had three eyes that mm. went outside to go mm. and look. But obviously, the man never gets the blame. I've noticed that a lot. The man never gets blamed for the shit that he does. It's mm. always the female. Of, you know, sometimes 50-50 chance, she wasn't even the one that, uh, the, that looked, chased the man. The man did the chasing. So yes. there are women out there who are blatantly bold enough to do the chasing. To the man. Yes. Nobody, yes. No, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna rain on their parade. I'm sorry, I'm gonna meet that person. Now. It's not you, it's Rachel. Go ahead and care. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna rain on their parade, but at the end of the day, you know, why are you fighting the weaker person? Not the weaker person as the weaker in character. The less the less person the less the less the lesser problem. Are. Yeah. The, uh, hey, the lesser corporate to the to the whole thing, you know. It takes two to tango. I don't know why people keep thinking it's only one person that it takes to tango when a married man is dating a single girl. It takes two to tango. Two people were at fault. Or maybe not. But I don't understand why married women do that. And they do that all the time. It isn't even when they know it deep in their heart, say their husband na chronica. <laughs> Let's use the chronica word. Chronica chita. Cro 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 in fact cro 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 something cro something sha cro cro is a cro cro somebody but they would never blame the man they mm. never blame their spouse they always go and blame the other party always ninety five in fact I I put it down now ninety nine point nine percent of married women if their husband's cheating it is the other woman if, they, if mm. you don't get a phone call insulting you. I'm calling you, <laughs> you need to run, no, I shall Oh my you days, you people made no, it curious speak your but... I'm telling you, I can speak it, I speak it. <laughs> so you, if you don't get them calling you on the phone, you will get them coming to your doorstep. Too or you will get them jamming you at the hair salon after you put on one brand new Yvonne. 
they will yank it. That they has been probably paid for, but anyway. Something <laughs> must go on. <laughs> we can hear you now, Rachel. This is good. Oh, good Lord. I hope it stays. I hope it lasts too so long. Yeah, okay. Um, before, before I get caught, before I, before I have this phone act up again, I uh -huh. think um, subconsciously it's a cop-out. It's a cop-out from the women refusing yes. to, they don't want to admit that they picked bad men. Yes. So it's easier to put the blame on someone else. Mm. Mm. As opposed to, yes, I know, say this man useless and I mm. chose to still marry him. You mm. don't want to take that responsibility, so you want yes. to put it on someone else and say, now your fault, the man was good with you that came into his life. I mean, I yes. know someone yes. whose husband is, in fact, the man cannot see the thing called woman and not touch him. But if mm. you ask her, every other, every woman that has come into her husband's life has raped his wife, her husband. I mean, life and direct. She has said, they raped him. He mm. didn't know what he was doing. They dragged mm. him under the set and raped him. And I'm like, what? It's a so, It's just that thing. It's plain and simple. Okay, so I have a question. What if... Do you think, because Inkiri made a uh, mention of something, and I am going to come to the gentleman, guys. I haven't forgotten about you. Inkiri made a, um, this is Bimbo's phone. Inkiri made a comment about, I know some girls do pursue guys. In a situation where, let's say there's a lady who is a blatant um, Angelina Jolie, as in, She's a black widow spider. She will go, she will go for your man and she won't rest until, as in, if there's a lady that you know is, has chased this one's husband, has chased that one's husband or whatever, whatever, would you still have a problem with your husband if you found that he, or let me put it another way. Would you, if you went to your husband's office and you walked in and his secretary is sat there in a micro mini skirt or something, or in a in a cleavage revealing dress or cleavage revealing top would you feel some type of way about it or would you say no 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 i trust my man or would you agitate for him to fire her do you think there is a place in a wife's role to protect her husband from men because i have heard a friend of mine say this before that his wife warned him about a particular lady and says uh I've seen how she looks at you. And he was like, mm, Emma Denny, are you women, you're always imagining things in your head. You're always da 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 It says, I did not know what she was talking about until I found myself staring at the ceiling with this woman's legs all around me. As in, he ended up having to, and, but he wasn't trying to deflect. Well, this is what he told me. He wasn't trying to deflect from his wife. He genuinely believed it up until the point where he was saying to her, no, 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 no. There's nothing going on between us. She's just real friendly. That's still how she talks to so, 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 and so in accounts. That's she's still how she talks to so, 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 and so in HR. That's still how she talks to blah, 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 blah. But he fell. He ended up, you know, there was one night working late. He had sex with her and he was like, my wife called it. My wife called this thing, said this thing was going to happen three months ago or four months ago or whatever. And I completely didn't believe her. And she saw something that I didn't see months down the line before the thing now happened. So do you think there's a place in a woman's job to say, I don't like that girl or I don't like that girl working for you, especially if it is I mean, obviously, if it's a multinational company, there's nothing you can do about it. But say he is the ogre or he is, or at least, or guy up to the point of being able to pick his own secretary, do you think there's a thing, a, 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 a duty for a woman to protect her husband from himself, almost, so to speak? And I would like to talk to Dolakwa about this, actually, because I would like to see it also from a man's point of view. If Remy told you about a particular lady and says, you know what, I don't have a problem with a whole bunch of people. You can have female friends. You can. I know you are friends with Lagbaja's wife. I know you you and so, 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 and so were in effect together. I know blah, 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 blah. Shori and T, this one I'm looking at with an eye like teeth on. So this Anini looks something. I don't like her. And I specifically don't like her around 
you because I don't trust this hoe and I don't, you know, my my spider senses are tingling, basically. I'm going to go around the room and I'm going to ask the ladies first. But I I'm hope they didn't say anything about you. About what? Hello? Yes. Yeah, okay. I hope Remy didn't say anything about me. I don't know why he picked on me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's the story close to home. Have, have you been warned this eh? kind of warning? <laughs> Well, I mean, depending on who the, the other woman is, yes, I've, I've received such, you, you can call it warning, you warning. can call it lecture, you warning. can call it advice, but it's always, to me, I believe it's a 50-50 call, it's a toss of a coin as far as I'm concerned, it's not like this woman's intuitive, it's, the intuition is just like bang on, no. But sometimes it could be correct, and I, yeah, I'll give an example. I used to work, where I'm still currently working, there was this lady that was working in HR. She happens to be in Ija. I mean, she's definitely about maybe 38, and so which means I'm a good, almost 10 years older than her. Right, and right, just the right spec. Being, no, being Niger and having a fellow Niger at work where everybody's like, every I see a black face, you know, and then three months later he's fired. I've been the only one that's been here for like 10 years. So seeing a fellow Niger was something to me all like, wow, this is good. This and this. So we start hanging out, you know, go to the cafeteria, blah, blah. And I told my wife about her. Blah blah, but for whatever reason, I mean, she became my friend on Facebook. Blah blah, blah. and my wife said, "You know what? I don't like her." Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, "Okay, you don't come. Home. There's nothing going on here. Not just mm -hmm. colleague at work. Period. It's just nice to have someone else to hang out with during lunch, right? than because me, I'm always known. I go out for my lunch. I'm by myself. I don't hang. I I don't like all these Oibo corny jokes and everything." So, but eventually I noticed because we talk a lot about a lot of things. She tells me about her boyfriend here, this and that, and he's not doing this, this, blah, blah, and I advise on her or, or whatever the issue is, and, and I don't want this, but I, I've broken up with him. So it seems like every guy that I approached, uh, she always tell me about it, like, oh, I met this guy, blah, blah, and I'll say, oh, that sounds good, you know, I mean, it looks mm -hmm. like Bobo come correct. Mm. You should give him a chance. But then two days later, she's like, man, I can't stand it, blah, blah. So I'm starting to notice, like, okay, no guy seems to be good enough for you. But it seems like you just love hanging with me. <laughs> Way too much. Mm -hmm. So I had, to like, I had to just, like, you know, gradually. And, and the good thing about it was that she found another job somewhere else. Better. Better. So rather than, okay calling you know calling and then you know she has issues with, with jobs i always advise about that it seems like you always do jobs for like eight months and then you move on to another one you never really sent it so she'll call me about whatever job she she she's interviewing for i'll talk to her body blah blah but i noticed that you know i had to start distancing myself you know before the, the offer comes around, like, you know what? Yeah, I'm so were you distancing yourself like, based on Remy's warnings to to appease your wife? Like, would you say, Do you know what? This thing yeah. doesn't sit well with my wife. Or were you distancing yourself oh. because you felt, ah, a wife, this auntie is getting too comfortable for me? Yeah, that could have been partly because of it, because this, my biggest fear was for me to go ahead and do something that I didn't intend to. And Remy to say, uh -huh, I told you, I said, I want you. Mm. I hate mm. that. Said, I want you. I told you, I hate. <laughs> I don't like to hear it. So there's nobody that I've met that I don't tell my wife. I mean, when me and you started talking on Bumi, on Bumi, uh, Bumi mm. show, mm. <clears throat> I told her about you. I said, there's this girl, look, man, she's as crazy as you. Trust me. Mm -hmm. And, and we ended up not killing. Like, I, you know. I, I I like Rachel, man. She 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 says it like it is. She she's a breath of fresh air. So thank God, this one can be my friend. This one pass pass. <laughs> I pass the jump score. I pass jump score. So this so, is this is I mean, just yes, it, it makes so, sense to pay attention once. But are you paying All attention right. just to remove any flame, to douse any flame in the house, 
or do you actually Nobody. see do you see some women like uh this one will give me trouble this one will but this especially well when it comes to the opposite sex then why do you want to be friend with some with someone that your wife is not happy about yeah what kind of friendship yeah. are you going to have in the first place yeah yeah i will go ahead please yeah i'll just um seconding what um uh, Dr. Moore was saying this. He, he, why would you want to be a friend with someone that is going to cause strife in your fa- in your family? Yeah, there's no point. Mm. It's, it's, it's if I, no, no, I'm sorry, Tyro. Let me. Sorry to cut you off. I just, I didn't want to forget it. There's somebody else within that circle of Facebook that we all, I mean, we both know. Mm. That it's very outlandish. And she's, she's in that London, you know. I know exactly who you're you know, talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about because I had to talk Remileko down from taking off her earrings, taking getting the Vaseline. Remileko was ready to get on a flight and beat somebody. Remileko was ready no, to come. No, I think he, I think you're talking about the other the, the other person. I think the okay. person you're talking about is kind of light skin. Okay, this is a for how many <laughs> No, 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 no. You do not know what they think, dude. This is not this one, it's that hold one. On. Uh, hold on now. Before you, before you begin, be, begin the trial, brother Jero, hold on now. You know. <laughs> Whoever Rachel is referring to or talking about, I'm not friends with her, so I know that one. I know about that one. This one is someone. That but you married. were friends with her. They on um, the this one too is, that I'm talking about is not single. This one too. But get this one. Uh, this person I'm talking about is married. She's in okay. London. She she talks a lot about all these uh, sex things. I say we are talking what? about the same thing. Remileku called me the same and I'm using tin. I know why I'm saying tin. Remileku called me. Remileku was like, is this person your friend? I'm like, I didn't I didn't answer because I don't know where the question is called, coming from. Anyway, before I even <laughs> <laughs> Before I even had a chance to say yes, she is or no, she isn't. Listen, you need to. Have, I don't know what sort of marriage she thinks she's got. I don't know what sort of husband. I don't know what she. Th- I'm like, oh my days. Remember, like, was like, I play with everything. I don't play with my family. I don't play with my husband. And, I, and she needs to lean back. I'm like, uh, hey. don't worry. That's how she talks to everybody. I don't think she really me- meant anything. That ah, if you go to her wall, I've seen. I've seen her wall. I've seen her wall. This one too is someone's husband, uh, someone's wife. Well, she can be someone's <laughs> wife, but she can't be friends with my husband. This is this is this. Anyway, I blame Dolakpo because it's Dolakpo too that answered her. I will still deal with that one, but just tell her she <laughs> needs to want to want to want to want to. I say yes. I don't want to be Dolakpo today. She just said, I need her. I need her to. Oh no 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 no. Remila Kwas, you're seeing her, lovely, friendly, charming. The whole Remila oh, is not more than five foot. What if Remila? No 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 no. If she is not playing, she is not playing and she does not play with dollar and she doesn't play so that's also this is like the question i was asking do women have and i'd love to hear um rachel's view i want to talk was, to but there was nothing there was nothing that was going to happen between me and this person I, as a matter of fact when i when i came over this summer at that tower chill chill out right i mm-hmm. met the husband we all know the husband that doesn't mean the auntie doesn't go out i bet leave that matter it's not my husband. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the husband. Yeah. But the husband said he was cool with, uh, with her with her behavior with her behavior and everything. Well, blah, that he can't stress right. that. Listen, let me tell let me explain something to you, um Dolakpo. Dolakpo, do you remember when you have mm. kids and when you had sorry, when you had kids, kids as in small children and Mm-hmm. They come and they say, Daddy, 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 I want this, this, this. And you say, I have already told you, I am not buying you this, this, this. And they tell you, but everybody in school has one. And what is your answer? Mm-hmm. That's them. That's their house. That's their problem. You are my child. This is what I, and it's the same thing. You see that couple that we are both talking about? That's them. That's their house. That's their problem. Everybody should close their leg and their mouths where my own husband is concerned. 
If the husband says he is happy with how she's doing up and down, beautiful. That, 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 so let's keep at it. But I completely agree with Remy Lekun. If I see someone who is a threat, even if my husband is doing, <laughs> oh yeah, so lovely to meet you. Even if he knows in his mind, he will never sleep with her. Even if he knows, uh, I was just being friendly. There was nothing that, no, 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 no. Don't, don't play. Don't come near my husband. Don't talk to my husband. Don't, just don't, basically. But I would love to hear what Rachel has to say, because I know Rachel has a whole no-nonsense attitude when it comes to certain issues. In marriage. <laughs> I would love to know. Love. So I don't know. I, I don't see it as a duty. I don't see it as an obligation. However, there is a kind of relationship you have with your partner where you see something, she see it in the offering, you say something. And I, I think that I, I don't care if my husband has a female friend, but mm. there was this one friend that my spirit, my body, every part of me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the man is right, you know, we're just friends. And I was like, I'm so ashamed. You go on mistake one day, you will know the mistake. Like, because without you. a doubt, I have no doubt that he will be, he will never consciously cheat on me. Mm. I have, but I can't guarantee that uh, one day, first thing you know, have when you come and be telling me, say, yeah, I don't have time for that one. So, no. yeah, I have said that to him. And he also did not see what I was saying until much later. And he would yes. never willingly admit to me that he, this is why he cut down the relationship. But I saw that he, the relationship was non existent anymore. Yes, so I and, don't and think it's an obligation. I don't think it's a duty, but I think that there is a kind of relationship you have with your partner, your loved one, that you see them in the process of eventually making a stupid mistake that will cost them. You kind of give them the heads up, like, hey, hey, hey you are playing with play fire. With fire. You know, you yeah. might want to pull back. Mm. And, um, yeah, 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 that. I, I think it's vice versa. I guess it, it goes to this knowing your partner very well, because my wife was saying that. If I'm at a party and you're dancing with some babe and she's backing you, I'm just pushing that thing into your crotch anyhow, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm not worried about that. I mm -hmm. said, ah, but the whole, but what am I doing now? And she said, well, that's your problem. You are your, said, your problem. you are your, <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> that's your problem. When we get home, we can release the, release, release Leave the tension. Your, uh... Uh, but if I see you sitting down in a corner with a babe and you are engrossed in conversation that you enjoy, mm -hmm. so then I have a yeah. problem yes. because I yeah, know you. That's that the kind you're of person a mental you are. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, and 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 every wife knows this. Even you don't even have to be a wife. Every girlfriend, anybody who's ever dated anyone knows this. Where. You know, you could be at a party and, and Naomi Campbell or somebody could walk in, but because you know your husband's taste or the kind of things that would... And by the way, I think even women can even tell more than a taste that this there's a difference between something he will look at appreciatively and something he would risk it all for, like, this one, this one, this is a problem. There's a big ass, there's a Latina that is by the work. I'm like... You know, Dollar but we lonely salivate no, no, nothing we have point. But like she rightly said, if there's someone who can engage your mind, who can engage you in conversation, who can do those things that you have a real craving for, and I don't think at your age the thing that would be like, eh, Moroyo, Motele, Moridi, Motele. No, I think if there is something deeper a woman can I, I, sense. I, I, I can't waste my time doing things now. I'm no longer a rapid machine, machine gun. <laughs> I mean, one load, one load fire gun now. Short one load bola at the end. Uh -huh. So I have to be very, very careful where I shoot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> pump action, yeah. We, now we both do pump action. Right? They talk shakabula for Niger. So shakabula, one, one blow, one blow, everybody die. Even Nepal off light, everybody. Uh, that's the uh, end. Uh, Let's take uh, offering uh, and go home. That's the end, basically. So, do, do do men have the same thing? Do you see? Do you think any guy? Might be a threat to your wife. Do you want? Do or do men have some more deep-seated 
my wife wouldn't cheat on me or my wife isn't like that or my wife isn't geared like that. I'm not even going to ask Rachel, right? Because we've all met Stella. You should. I actually have an answer for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. So let me start with Stella then, or is it yeah. Rachel? Let me start with Rachel. It's Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Yeah. What is... Hey, you Rachel, when... The answer is the same. I think it, it depends on the relationship you have with mm. your partner because my husband has... Fortunately, unfortunately, found himself in a position of having to say, hey, you know, who's this person? Be careful. And he was right. That person was a trust. Wow, he was able wow. to engage me mentally. Wow. And um, however, he was absolutely right. So he has found himself in this because, you know, I, I began to talk about this person a little too often and stuff like that. And, yeah, I needed that. Uh, you, this mistake, you say, and his words, that words were, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> So that. now that homicide has entered the matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to die here. So let's let's take a step back from this relationship and not get caught up in a stupid thing. And yeah, mm. again, it depends on the type of relationship. I, I'm not ashamed to say that my husband knows this. With a mm. Caucasian man, please, they don't do anything, not one ounce of thing. So he will, he will just face his part of good looking. If you've got a good-looking black man who's got good brain cells, I'm a sucker for those. Mm. So, yeah. when you have all this package together, and the man took one look at this guy, he's like, eh? This is trouble. I think it was correct. It was trouble. Interesting. Interesting. And, and he was right. So, yeah, we do owe it to ourselves to say, Listen, this is going to be trouble. This is going to be, and you know you don't want trouble, right? So just just lean back, basically. So if you, or let me speak to, actually, I haven't heard Bimbo's voice in a hot minute. I know I put her on mute because um, there was some interference. Hi, Bimbo. Hello. Hi, darling. Hello. Oh, yeah, t talk to us. What do you think? Do you well, think... Um, uh, do you want to weigh in on what we're talking about? Um, a man, yeah. you know, a woman seeing things a man may possibly not see. Do you think that anybody has a role to play in saying, you, this is a danger for you? Me, I know you, so I know this is a danger for you. Do you think there is any of merit course. to be had of there? Course. Of course. Part of the whole reason that you're together is you've identified, you know that person in and out you understand what their likes are mm. and so when you see warning sign when you see that big giant uh, neon sign going blink 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 you just you know, of course you go wah 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 this is the one that you like mm. i know you are this kind of person this is the one that you like so don't go there i don't like this person mm. it's, a, it's a nasty red flag and same with um, a, a woman to a man if you know that, sorry, a man to a woman, if you know that, hmm, like Rachel was saying, if the person fits a certain bill, I decided to hang out with the person. Now, I don't know whether you now start talking about I kill you, I kill him, or something like that, but it's still a case of, look, come, this person, I can see it happening, because this was the, the way you were passing like crazy when you were nine minutes. This was mm. the way your eye was doing shaka exactly. When you were nine minutes, Mm. So basically, if you are now doing this, uh, you know, this is a red flag. So I need to warn you. And sometimes, and it's so long as you know, you know, some people they'll beat there. You say, eh, what are you doing? You're talking to a man. You'll beat the person, <laughs> or they'll they'll turn it into a massive dance fight. No, if you know the kind of partner you have, all you need to do is have a conversation with them. And you that you know that you say if you are not looking for wahala, you keep your guard up because someone. Has highlighted it for you. You're 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 now looking for the signs that you didn't think to look for. Like and what I, I Dolapo think... was saying, Prime yeah. Minister had not told him. I'm sure Dolapo would have still been going. Hey, zugo 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 until we have second one. Well. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so uh, would that one. would that have been would that have been my fault now? Because obviously then I was just clueless. If that's what you're saying. They said ignorance, of, ignorance of the law is not excused from the law. You will still go to prison. You will still... <laughs> yes, 
I agree. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, but ignorance of the law can be mitigated in punishment. But but okay. see, let me let me explain. You no, know, you know, I didn't even say it's not even mitigated. The problem is it depends on who your judge is. And you you don't have <laughs> you do not no. have a merciful judge. This you know. <laughs> Uh, Mr. 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 Duba, you, you know that, 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 that your man. judge is a, is a very unmerciful somebody. So there's no need to <laughs> even price this market at all at all. Judge, jury, and executioner. You know that you go to the judge, you, you can just imagine standing in front of the court and say, Your Honor, what happened is the whole time she was shaking waist, I didn't realize it was me she was shaking it for. Then devil now did what devil does best. You know, devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that's how I now find myself here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Then Remilaku will ask you one question and say, as judge, I wish to, did I tell you or did I not tell you? And then you say, eh, it's not like you didn't tell me. You see, to be fair, sometimes also, you, I mean, even as a man, I can recognize those signs. And women, too, at times can be in denial. You know, uh, I'll give you an example of something that happened years ago when we were both still living in the U.S. She had a very, very close friend that, I mean, she hangs out with a lot, blah, blah. I think they knew each other from high school in Lagos, blah, blah. So this friend will come over. They will hang out in our apartment. This was even before we had kids. And there was this small beach area that we go to in Maryland, in Annapolis, and <clears throat> she came along with us. And the moment I just parked in the parking lot, I mean, she had on some summery, summer outfit or whatever, and she just got out of the car right in front because she was sitting behind me, so I was out, I was out of the car. She just got out. She just started taking off the skirt and the blouse because she had been in suit underneath and everything. And I just like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, and I just kind of like walked away real quick. Like, well, I mean, I understand she had on a bathing suit, but I'm like, come on, a little bit of decorum. Is there any reason? Yeah, to, yeah. You know, we'll go home. I told, I told Remy about it because I said, ah, I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, he bless it. She won't, she won't try with you the trial. Uh, she said, like, won't chop. Mm. She won't chop. Yeah, yeah meant only for the yeah. elders. Oh, what a life. Uh, I said, "Dollar, the D, dollar, na lie." Ah, you did you? You should be fine to any. Yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, you are feeling cool, Abby. I said, "No problem." I've said. So they fast forward a couple of months, and me and her had had a big fight. Blah blah. She she got pissed. She said she was going over to her brother's place for the weekend. She doesn't want to talk to me. This and that. Her friend, this particular friend, calls. This is before the cell phone became popular, I mean. Mm -hmm. So it was always landline in the house. She called and said, uh, Remy there, and I'm like, uh, Remy, and I'm still angry at that moment. I'm like, Remy's not here. In fact, don't call here anymore. She doesn't stay here anymore, blah, blah. And, hmm. and I was just like, uh, you guys had a fight. What caused the fight? No, I'm, not, I'm not willing to talk to you about it. Uh, you mean she just left? Eh? She yeah, did, did she even I mean, do you have food in the house? Did she did she cook anything? Yeah, professional. Oh, oh, no, you I you know me that I'm still angry at that moment. So I'm just revealing information. I know she didn't cook anything. I'm uh, you know, hoping to at least paint her in a bad light in front of this friend. The next thing I know, twenty minutes later there was a ring on my door and well, it was well, a friend. Well. You know? Uh, well, uh, I just had to quickly rush over to come and check on you. Are you okay? Can you call, can you call? Eh? I will talk to this, really talk to Remy. What kind of rubbish is this? Blah, blah, this and that. And I just thought to myself, I said, hey, something <laughs> is about to go down. Remy, and if you're Remy, not going to be a willing Remy, participant, you better Remy, run. Come on, Kai. <laughs> uh, so I had to just say, look, you know what? Why don't you just sit down, relax? Let me quickly run to the store. So I get out, run to the corner store, use the pay phone by the corner store, and call her brother's place. And I don't know what you want. I don't want to talk to you. Blah, blah, blah. What you call it? Look, you're below. What you bear. <laughs> but meanwhile, anyway, your friend is here in the apartment. She's worried that you didn't cook any stew, and she wants to cook stew. 
Jesus. Jesus. Believe me, Remy showed up in 40 minutes. Neat. You know, very me. You just made the woman come back. <laughs> yes. Also, so. 40, it remained 40 minutes. I was going to say 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> No, this in fact, whatever cost the fight was, you can't remember the fight so was forgotten. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. We just had to band together and deal with the common enemy. That was it. <laughs> so I'm curious to know about this because the question has just come to my mind. I once again, I'm not going to ask Rachel because I think Rachel has uh, told us about contracts and rewriting of contracts. But I want to talk to Inkiru because it's Inkiru that brought up this question. Inkiru said um, we should ask questions about why is it that the women face the girlfriends or the side chicks or the woman outside rather than facing the the person they that they have a pact with and everything. So Inkiru, let's say mm -hmm. you are in a relationship and you are not ready to leave so you are let's talk about what the you know the kind of wife we're talking about the the money makes sense the life is comfortable you've looked at everything mm. together and you are like i am not ready to be single again i am not ready to start all over again or i am just not ready to leave this man over this one bit of infidelity how would you deal with the fact because if you don't know then you don't know but how would you deal yeah. with the fact that he's cheating if you are not because to me i feel that most women think the only time they can tackle the husband is if that if he were to come to it they're ready to leave but most women are not there which is why they tackle the lesser of two evils which is which is why they mm -hmm. cop out or mm -hmm. whatever so uh, this is a very you know i'm not even trying to be funny now if you were to advise a wife whose husband is cheating, but she no one pack commerce. Let's say, do you know what? Let's say she doesn't know. She knows the. She knows he's cheating, but she doesn't know how long. This is not like she. She doesn't know if it's once. She doesn't know if it's. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he did this, but you know what? In Kiru, I still love him. You know, he's David's dad. He's he's. She do Bim's father, this one, this one. Um, that's the only one. Do we know think. if he really still loves the wife or not? No, 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 no. I don't know any of this. I am talking, I am in Kiru's girlfriend. I have come to my friend in Kiru and I have said, I caught him cheating. I know he is cheating. I have seen the text messages. I have seen everything. And I know this woman I know, as in, if I wanted to, I could get up and go by her house right now. I know where she lives. I know enough information about her to 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 track her down. But I'm not ready to leave him. What would you advise me as your friend, Ben Kira? Ah. You're not ready to leave him. <laughs> now, ben, let me ask another friend. <laughs> Ikiru wants me to pack my lord, yo, Jesus. Oh. No, no, no. Do you know what? Do you know what? I can never tell a woman to leave her husband. It's not mm. my place. Mm. Like I always say, now she knows where that should be pinch. Mm. If she knows, she knows what her tolerance level is like. She knows how much bullshit she can take. Yeah. If she's willing to sit there and take it, so be it. Obviously, my nature and probably hers are not the same, but she is yeah. my friend. We're friends for a reason. So I would tell her, look, chick, it's up to you. I cannot make that call for you. That call has to come solely from yourself. You know how far you're willing to let your husband go. You know, I have a friend like that who's exactly the same thing. Me, I know that I said leave her husband, though. She said, look, I know what my husband does, and I know you know what my husband does, mm. but it is well. She's still there 10 years. They've been married for 10 years, and every single blasted year of those 10 years, the boy has not been solo. For the one minute day. Up to go to Niger, the minute he got, ends up to go to Niger, he's out with his baby. He, has a, he had a steady girlfriend. He used to push trolley in Sainsbury's in Hendon with the girl. When his wife came, he said, I'll shop by herself. Wait there. But she, he, does he know that she knows? That she knows? Yes. He knows she knows. But he knows she ain't going nowhere. One, because they haven't had kids. So 
So she's still praying for the fruit of the womb. Mm. Uh, uh, the fruit of the womb. No. Yeah, oh, it so they don't even have anything to tie them together and she's he still praying for the to do all that. So he's not to her, to him, to him now, everyone is seeing her as she's just a being a nuisance. But you know, she's a nice girl, but still he's doing what he's doing. Under her koro koro, she knows. She knows. The restaurants he goes to with the girls, he knows she knows the girls, you know, she knows every single one of them. Me, I'm not told her that I know, I know, because me, I've seen the guy in my, in my very before. In my very before, I entered that house. He was with his girlfriend in, a, in a, my friend's place. Immediately he saw me. He didn't know I knew the girl. Immediately he saw me. That was it. That was not the plan for their deal, but he left the minute he saw me because he knew I knew her, and he mm. knew I'm one person who, straight up, I would never tell her. He didn't know that I wouldn't tell her, but I would, I would give him a wash down there and then which I kind of did, but before mm. he let me do so much, he left. So I now asked the girlfriend, hey, this guy you're seeing, is he your boyfriend? She goes, yeah, he's my boyfriend. I really love him. I was like, I'm looking at him. In it, though, still. Are you, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I now said to her, and I said to her, are you sure? You know, is he married? She goes, no, he's not. So I looked at her and said, babe. Dude is married. No, me and told her straight because she's my friend, but friend of a friend. I said to her, "Babe, dude is married." She goes to me, "Ah, Q, no, no, ah, uh, what is that? I'm not, I don't, I'm not." I was like, "Look at this idiot fighting for that person." And I said to her, "Babe, I beg, wait, sit down, sit down, make yourself comfortable, put your leg up, hook up, wait for me." I went online. Him and his wife, their wedding, they have a website hmm. for their wedding. I opened website. If I say her jaw dropped to ground, that's an understatement. Her jaw went to underneath the gravity where abyss. She could not bring that mouth back up. She was in total shock. I just, I didn't tell her out of spite. I kind of told her because she seemed like she was in cuckoo land. She was loving the, oh, you know, my boyfriend is looking up. All his money was going on this chick. And then he's there telling the chick that his wife is not pregnant and she knows what she should do with her belly. That's what he told his girlfriend. Does does he Outside. have any kids from anywhere? He's he's had he's I mean the girlfriend he had before he married this girl had had baby had had gotten pregnant that he made her abort them. So mm. everybody's thinking this woman that has the issue now because obviously they know he had a girlfriend who was pregnant for him like twice or three times, which he didn't want to have. So maybe he's no 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 maybe his Siri babies he was to have on this set he has had them and he has aborted them so that's that's about that but everybody was very dependent. So my, my friend, friend that doesn't mean now. I mean, my friend is, is, a, is something like is dumpy bum. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. D, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Continue, Kirika. I heard you. I don't sugar don't enter, but then I know you do anything that's again. It. Hmm. So it's like I've be, I've been in that situation whereby I'm looking at her in the face. She goes to me, I, I, it's all right. I know what he does. Anyway, at the end of the day, he comes home. Hey, Chimo. That's all I said to her. I said to her, okay, ne, if that's, if you're happy, ah, ne, it's your husband, though, you know, nobody can, I was speaking, I said to her, nobody can tell you what to do, you know. Oh, Diggy, as in, it's your husband. She I said, said yes, oh, it's Diggy. my husband. <laughs> oh, Diggy, yes, mm -hmm. oh, it's your husband. Oh, Diggy, it's your husband. Anything, anything goes. If you're happy where you are, check, pack yourself well, arrange your clothes, sit down, let him go, come back. Every mm -hmm. night he's out with his friends, picking up girls from, is this London where in, from 042 to 805, from 805, all the restaurants, you name it, he takes girls there. When mm. the, uh, one of the proprietors in one of the restaurants called the wife to tell the wife that your husband comes here with different women, I don't know why, that one just went to put some fun in her gary. They stopped going to that restaurant and moved base to a different restaurant. I mean, you know, but the woman is sticking to her husband. Ten years, ten years. For those ten years, he has cheated every year. She has had a steady girlfriend while being married. He has had a girlfriend. The la that girlfriend I'll tell you about that I knew, he was mm. with her for a good four or five years. Then she got married. So, she but this is what else. we're talking about. So, even when she found out and you showed her a website, she continued dating him regardless. So He continued. Uh -huh. They were doing it now in hide and seek. So, who who is the fool here? So, if you are saying, don't, don't, um, don't, you know, attack the girlfriend, don't attack the side chick, face your husband, how do we... 
know what to do with a man who isn't willing to change. It's never going to end then. Sorry, Tawa, go go ahead. Rachel, one minute, please. What's that say? It's include the friend of the wife and the his, his girlfriend as well. He knew both women. I didn't hear Tawa. What did Tawa say? So, do you know both women? Did you know the know wife? Both. Okay. I know both of them. I know the my. In fact, the girl I'm talking about, Rachel. You see my pictures. That's my makeup artist. Oh yeah. The one that does my makeup. Yes, she's the one that does my makeup, the one that's been married for 10 years and does my makeup. The other one is my friend through a friend. So we were friends and we all used to go out dancing and we went for mm. her birthday. Mm. You know, she was always carrying Louis Vuitton. Nobody in China Louis Vuitton. She was always carrying Louis Vuitton. If she didn't carry Louis Vuitton, she was carrying Prada. Now this same guy, now they buy and from. Correct. So, so she was constantly because eh, he does my shopping every week. He pushes trolley. In Hendon Sainsbury's. I like it. does my shopping every week. He spends like, like £200 it. on her shopping for her and her son every blessed week. I like it. Whatever she needs, he buys. I like it. They <laughs> don't put his head on that. So um, let me have let me talk to Bimbo real quick. Bimbo, just one minute because we're coming right to the end of the show. And I just want to make sure that everybody has something to say. What do you make of the whole... I would love like a roundup from you. Like... um uh men married men single girls married men cheating wives that won't face the truth and face the the scourge in their marriage and instead of facing the side checks i would love a roundup from you please bimbo go for it okay so women that face the side chick the reason they don't face their husbands is they do not want to hear the truth they are scared of him telling them actually i don't know if you know more babes so mm -hmm. back your shit and leave the house or you don't really want to think, well, I really love her. I'm going to have a second wife. Mm. And also, they also don't want that whole thing of, well, if they can if they can protect. The thing is, once they've talked, spoken to their husband about it, it's a lot more difficult to pretend like it never happened. It didn't happened. happen, yeah. They yeah. live like it was all a dream. So mm. if you go out and meet the person outside and you cross that one out and you go leave my husband and she really does leave your husband and you get your husband back, it's very sweet to go, yeah, well, things are back to normal now. Life is all fine. Life is all good. That's essentially what it ends up being. So that's the reason why you don't go and meet the woman. Plus, you also see the woman outside as well. Yeah, once she finds out that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take shit hard, she leaves. I'm getting surprised if they like because the mistress is even more gangster than they mm. want to be able to be. And that one then goes to tell the husband and then shit blows up. So there's all of that stuff. I you know, I, I think that, and there's some women that they really do get to a certain point. They do believe that because you love someone means that it equates to you sticking it out till the very end. That's what they think love means. They don't understand that. There's some people that you love them with all your heart. But because they drive you crazy, because they give you pain, you need to walk away. Love really isn't every freaking thing. It is not. Yeah. So that's what they don't understand. We've been told that love, oh, the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultimate. So you believe that, well, yeah, I love the person, so really and truly, I'm just going to stick it out. That's not how it works. It's not, that's just it's not how it works. That belief that they have. And I think that's the problem is they, they tell themselves that, well, you know, they don't want to try again, they don't want to try again, they already have this one, you know, and I love him, uh, you know, I, so yeah, you know, I'm just going to sit there and take it. Okay. Okay. Rachel, last words, please. Any last words? Okay. Um, first of all, that in Kiro scenario, that was not cheating. The man had permission. And if you have permission, yes. then go ahead yeah. and do what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's an open something. I don't know, open something. So let's do that again. The other thing is, is, everything is not black and white. So there are certain mm -hmm. circumstances where confronting the other woman might be appropriate. But for the most part, I wouldn't. I would tell why stick to yourself. It's not if, and I do have a friend in this scenario. And my question to her is, what do you want? If you want mm. a divorce, get it over with. Rip the bandage, be done, go. She's known her husband is cheating for about two years now, not done anything. My last statement to her two days was, babe, live with it. You have not yes. made any moves. You're fine. Yes. Find some kind of peace and deal with it. 
define what you want. If you have decided I'm going to stay, don't come and be disturbing my ear. I'm not that mosquito, kind of friend. Mosquito, mosquito. If you want to divorce, I will be right there with you. Do you need a lawyer? Do you need support? I will be the kind of friend you need. You don't want divorce, more power to you. I would, your husband is very good, cook soup and give him. But do not be bothering me with his cheating. He's no listen. Just give him permission. Let him do what he wants to do. You still have a good life. That's it. Simple. Thanks. Simple. Simple. Which is expensive in the market. I don't have money for people. Ah. I don't even oh, have ear. Sorry. Ear to be using to listen to you saying the same thing two years, three years, four years, ten years down the line. Either you're done or you're you know, or you want mm -hmm. a change, or you're not. And if you're not, make peace with it. I make peace with the fact that I'm single. I don't bore you with it every day. Sheesh. Nope. Ah. So uh, no, let me let me hear from Taiwo real quick, and then Donako will round us off as he normally does, and then we'll call it tonight. Taiwo, what would you like to say? Wow. Well, okay. What I have to say is, I'm very disturbing. There's no room or there's no excuse or whatever you want to call it for the blood man to be dating someone outside the marriage. Anything uh -huh. else is cheating. There's no excuse for it. I don't subscribe to it. I don't buy by it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Dolapo. Oh, yeah. Voice of wisdom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. My, uh, okay. <laughs> after I've laid myself bare today now, now don't be no but well. every day is a school day after they told you don't be following small small sissy with short skirt I want to come and cook for you my, Chebi, you well, changed yeah. your ways uh, when person grow from uh, nice fit guy to I don't get belly small now and person, all the woman they look me they like talk to me now, so you can see, now, so you like. can think, oh, now you are team rock yeah. belle. You have the kind of belle that girls mm. were, ah, that's the kind of belle yeah. that wants to be rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Be, when it's not being rubbed at home, now the instead of the time say you want your perform with this or with him. Okay, okay, you push her. Yeah, yeah, anyway, let, let me let me just say, you know what? The many people think that marriage is graduation. Like, oh, I've made it, I've graduated. I'll tell you, marriage is pretty much getting acceptance, getting your acceptance letter to college. Mm -hmm. Now you start the real work. I'm studying, yeah. And you will not graduate until the day you die. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the first episode of the Marriage Chronicles. We're going to be bringing more your way. Another thing I would love to talk about, and I would really love to pick um, both Dolapo and Rachel's brains on this, is finance within the marriage. Actually, um, Inkiru has a wealth of knowledge on this as well from her previous marriage, so we would really love to talk about this. Finance within the marriage, finance within the home, how is money handled, what is the best way to handle money, how do you deal with a partner, maybe you have a partner who is more, I don't want to use the word wasteful, but certainly spends more than you. What do you do if you have a partner who has bad credit rating or whatever the case may be, or their actions is affecting you as a family? I would really love to talk about that. But before we bring you any more talking drum topics, this Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. GMT, we will be having a yeah. four hour and you know what is going to happen. Olori is out the door. <laughs> Bolale might be in the door. Evans is going through some things. The kidnapper has <laughs> pled guilty. All kinds of things. That Olori is at the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Olori, ah. you deal with her, right? Yeah, because we, she it, has gone for Olori. And we still officially call her Olori. Sorry, it's all her. It's all her. She has gone for Olori. It's all her. I don't want to. She's not going to ask for Olori. Who give out the Olori that we have collected back? Her name is it's all her. That's the name her father gave her. No, but I fair, fair, but I no, it don't her. Let her be gone. She's not even, what's that her English name? Monica, be what she call herself. Zainab. No, Zainab is when she married the third husband. She has changed more times than a baby's nappy. The girl is. 
slaying with her. You know, but some people do have a culture when they marry, they give their wife name. Like I'm I did say people Maybe. don't have so a culture. Na, 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 so does that mean she should marry who was valid every time? So apparently every marriage she was collecting name. That's, That's exactly what she was doing. Every every marriage. Marriage. She has so a, a do you know what? Let us not even start. Let's end this show. I'm coming for her Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Friday, uh, Apricot Hour, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. Thank you all. We've had a fantastic time. We're so sorry for the technical issues uh, to start with, but we do hope you enjoy the show. We will see you at the same time next week. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, people. Bye. All right.